Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel SQL and the Science. Do you ever worry about that close to one third of world's food supply is wasted annually? As a major contributor, food spoilage represents an environmental problem. Therefore, today we're going to talk about food deterioration and food spoilage. Food deterioration is defined as a breakdown of food composition or the process of becoming undesirable and it is often associated with food spoilage. Food spoilage is the decomposition of foods by enzymes and microorganisms. The main difference between these two is that the deterioration is a stage of food spoilage at which it can be eatable by humans and will cause no harm. While spoilage of food means it is unfit for human consumption, if anyone eats a spoiled food, it may cause food poisoning. Mechanical, physical, chemical and microbial effects are the leading causes of food deterioration and spoilage. Let's see how mechanical and physical factors cause the food deterioration. Food damage can start at the initial point by mishandling of foods during harvesting, processing and distribution. This may lead to ultimate deterioration of foods due to mechanical factors. During storage and distribution, foods are exposed to a wide range of environmental conditions. Environmental factors such as pressure, temperature, humidity, oxygen and light can trigger several reactions that may lead to food degradation. As a consequence of these mechanisms, food may alter to such an extent that they are either rejected by the consumer or harmful to the consumer. For an example, bruising of fruits and vegetables during the harvesting and post-harvest handling lead into the development of fruit. Also, tuberous and leafy vegetables lose water when kept in atmospheres with low humidity and subsequently wilt. And dried foods kept in high humidity may pick up moisture and become soggy. In case of frozen foods, fluctuating temperatures are often destructive. For an example, fluctuating temperatures cause recrystallization of ice cream leading to an undesirable sandy texture. Freezer burn is a major quality defect in frozen foods that is caused by the exposure of frozen foods to fluctuating temperatures. These large fluctuations may cause a pace change by thawing or refreezing foods. Likewise, there are so many examples for food deterioration. The next cause for food deterioration is chemical factors. Food spoilage can be happen due to enzymatic reactions, rancidity and other chemical reactions such as autolytic degradation of muscles. Among those, the major chemical factor is enzymatic reactions that change the quality of foods. Temperature, oxygen, water and pH induce deleterious changes in the food that are catalyzed by the enzymes. For example, fruit turns to brown rapidly at room temperature due to the reaction of phenolase with cell constituent released in the presence of oxygen. 
Also, here you can see other enzymes that can cause food spoilage. You may have seen browning of banana peel and browning of apple after cutting. Also, potato after peeling and avocado after peeling and mixing. These are happen due to the enzymatic browning. Enzymes such as lipoxygenase, if not degenerated during the blanching process, can influence food quality even at sub freezing temperatures. That means colder than the temperature at which water freezes, in other words, colder than 0 Celsius. The presence of unsaturated fatty acids in food is a prime reason for the development of rancidity during storage, as long as oxygen is available, while development of all flavors is markedly noticeable in rancid food. The next cause for food deterioration is microbial factors. Bacteria, yeast, and mold are the major causes of food spoilage. They produce various enzymes that decompose the various constituents of foods. Each microorganism has an optimum temperature at which it grows best, a minimum temperature below which growth no longer takes place, and a maximum temperature above which all development is suppressed. Bacteria that grow particularly well at low temperatures are called cyclopenic or low temperature organisms. Bacteria with an optimum temperature of 12 Celsius to 45 Celsius are mesopelic, and those with an optimum temperature above 45 Celsius are thermopelic. Microbial growth in foods results in food spoilage with the development of undesirable sensory characteristics, and in certain cases, the food may become unsafe for consumption. Microorganisms have the ability to multiply at high rates when favorable conditions are present. Prior to harvest, fruits and vegetables generally have good defense mechanisms against microbial attack. However, after separation from the plant, they can easily succumb to microbial proliferation. Similarly, meat upon slaughter is unable to resist rapidly growing microbes. The pathogenicity of certain microorganisms is a major safety concern in the processing and handling of foods in that they produce chemicals in food that are toxic to human. Their growth on foods may also result in undesirable and appearance and off flavors. Here you can see the major quality loss during the food deterioration and spoilage. For an example, microbial spoilage can cause the development of off flavors and toxin production. Enzymatic spoilage can cause to browning and color changes. You may think that is food, dis food deterioration is always undesirable. It depends on the final quality of food. Desirable microbiological changes, sometimes called as fermentation. Ripening of cheese or the raising of bread are all desirable changes of foods due to microorganisms. If the final product is unsuitable for human consumption and toxic to the human, it is an undesirable change of food. So, these are the basic things that you should know about the food deterioration and spoilage. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. I will discuss the each and every food preservation step and suitable preservation technique in future videos. Thank you.